Hello and welcome to today's episode where I will be crafting a WAG banner. Look at how the boys are happy with their new tower. First, I am taking a base of an old project. It's simply just two pieces of corrugated cardboard glued together. Since I had no branches left like this one, I decided to make the wood of the WAG banner in XPS foam. It's simple to shape, but as you will see later, I will have problem dealing with the XPS foam, so I would recommend getting some real wood and in fact it's cheaper and you can find it everywhere. First I am cutting some square-ish shape by using a cutting motion uh, and not pressing the knife on the foam. By cutting all the edges, I will round up the XPS foam, but do keep in mind that having a real branch I made in, in real wood uh, will be much better and you will already have the round shape, so you can just skip that. I am then smoothing the edges, like you would peel off a vegetable. Since we want some angle on the floor so the top three uh, tree trunks will reach each other, we need to cut at an angle and you'll see that I'm going to make a mess <laughs> out of it. So, free advice, have a test piece, like this one here, I could uh, cut at the right angle and report the angle to my other pieces. Poking in some cocktail sticks to help fit in to the base. And again, be smart, still not like me. You need to texture if you are using XPS foam or other material you can sculpt like clay or anything. Sculpt it before you glue it. And so here I am using a fork just to imitate the wood grain of a tree trunk. I am also adding some cutting and uh, some carving damage to the wood because you know it's rough being into an orc camp. <laughs> Poking in the fork to add battle damages and bullet holes. Here you can see me peel off the single corrugated cardboard to reveal this wavy pattern and give that look of a rough metal surface. I am also cutting some thin strips of cardboard just to imitate a circling of a steel circling of the tree trunks. I am also adding some support the wooden support to support the tree trunks and I'm doing so by cutting thin sheets of XPS foam but wood is better as I said 
and you'll see uh, I will need to reinforce the XPS with a cocktail stick on the back. It is now time to glue many things and to do so I am using hot glue but I think that PVA or wood glue is better, I just want it to be, to be fast. Quick warning, the hot glue can melt the foam. Now cardboard strips goes on the top. Then gluing the cardboard circling on one side and then the other. I need to make a flat top for the top floor and to make it stable. I need to give some interesting shapes and some volume to the top floor. So I am making sort of a box using 45 degree angle for these little cardboard strips I am gluing to the main piece. Here I am filling the gaps in every corner using some triangular shapes and some squarish pointy shapes. The goal here is obviously not to be mathematicians. What we want is to create a similar way to build our structure like the orc would have built them using simple material, simple shapes and not really thinking about what they are doing. Here I am just brushing on some PVA glue to reinforce. By tracing on another piece of cardboard the shape of the box, I will be able to make the top floor. Dry fitting, then glue time. Adding the little grot miniature as a reference, I am cutting out the guard rail for them to not fall off the, the tower or to, to be safe while shooting at enemies. And again, filling up the gaps with some really large triangular shapes. As you've seen before on the video, it is pretty simple to cut thin strips of or thin sheets of XPS foam just by using a cutting motion and not pressing against the foam. And this is what I am using to make the floor, the wooden floor of our little box we just made, which is going to be the top floor. Let's now dive into a fun part where I'm going to craft a exhaust for the tower. Yes, you heard me right, a exhaust for the tower. I don't know why the orcs think it could work, but yeah, you know, they are orcs and exhaust on the tower, maybe they, they may have use of it. Do not hesitate to cut at an angle the exhaust just to give it various shape and various length. For the visible part of the exhaust, I cut it in half uh, the straw and then I poked in the fork to make like the vent where the gas could go out. This is what it looks like once everything is glued on except for the visible part and just to make it more solid I put it in some PVA glue inside of the exhaust. While I was searching for the straw for uh, the exhaust I found this bit in my bit box and it is from a curtain and while I was dry fitting things, I put it in the straw and wow, magic, it's a cannon. Here you can see me adding bits to the cannon just to make it more tough and more sturdy. 
and in fact I'm just grabbing some leftover of XPS foam and I'm just carving in some various shapes to make it uh, look like interesting. Here I am cutting out where the ammunition is going. Orcs needs to show how death is coming upon their opponents. And this is why we are going to draw a kind of geometrical skull in a orcish manner. At least I am trying and I hope it looks good. Time to glue everything together and starting to realize, damn, it's looking like something. Let's go and cut some triangular shaped cardboard bits and glue them wherever you want to add some spiky look. While looking through my bits box I found two rectangular plastic bits. They could make formidable steel sheets where orcs could write their favorite quote. I am roughly taking measurement for a ammunition that would go on that gun and then I am cutting lots of them, really lots of them. Here is a thin strips of cardboard to hold the munition together and then I am simply poking it in into the ammunition extractor and poking it in into the ammunition barrel. I am also looking through my old box of Warhammer miniatures to find some quick and little accessories to put on the base of this beautiful old tower. So now only a few things left, we need to make a box using some foam and some strips. I will glue on the base the accessories I got on the leftover miniature boxes. I need to shape a little bit better the AMO bucket and I also need to cut various shape of plastic in the grips. Here we have it, a box we absolutely don't want to talk about because it is uh, ugly, ugly as hell. We have the ammo bucket where the ammo are going to fit in. And we also have cut it out some spruce bits to make like I don't know wood or metal parts on on the base.
then you stir everything together until you have this muddy texture. The way I cut the cardboard was not really smooth and we could see the corrugation of the cardboard so remember you can always fix this problem by using toilet paper paste. Now I am finished with the details. So here is the junk pile, junk metal pile. Here was the ugly box. I decided to make it a table and I put it on some metal segments and some grenades just so it's like the engineer table right on the top i put it leftover metal pieces also a radio like type thing and a knife why not i glued on the ammo to the ammo bucket and on the other side, I glued on some spruce bits and the uh, orc head I just uh, had left. So now everyone knows that they are merciless. Here you can see me base coating with PVA glue and acrylic black, but there are some really difficult places to reach with the brush so I decided to spray it with black base coat and as you can see there is the XPS foam that burnt with the solvent inside of the spray bottle and as a result it is not that bad but we can see some, some damage onto, onto the XPS and this is why Wood is really really better for this project than XPS foam. Don't be like me. Don't try to, uh, to rush it and, and go outside and go grab some wood. So to hide it I decided to glue on some, some I don't know, sand or gravel onto the top of the tower just, just to cover up the mess. Finally it is time for painting and as a general idea for this build I think that using some sponges with the with the paint really act like uh, painting metal and I would really recommend for any big pieces of metal as for a terrain to use some sponges because it leaves some texture to the paint which really gives that metal look even uh, with some paints of color to the to the metal simple color scheme here metal for the metal brown for the dirt clear beige for the wood some steel and some reds on the top as well as some gray for the mess of the burnt xps foam mixing up some oil paints and white spirit to make home wash The work banner is now finished! What a great journey I had making it come to reality. It surely looks super cool on the table. And I found this project to be really interesting by using everything from the trash. 
It is a formidable terrain I really encourage anyone not confident in the hobby to do. It is orcish, so you can't get it wrong. And you have no money to add to buy material. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and wish you a good day or good night. Until then, craft well and good painting session.